Hi, Lance Yolanoff and Mashable. I'm sitting here with iRobot's PackBot, and they've got a whole new way of controlling these robots that is so user-friendly that even I can do it. It's called the iRobot U-Point Multi-Robot Control System. Why is that important? Important because one app on an Android tablet can control not just the PackBot, but this little throwbot. The guy they throw through windows, the first line of defense when trying to find out something bad is going on, writes itself. Well, you can see everything that's going on through the tablet, but you can also control driving. It'll drive on its own. You point it, it'll drive straight to the point you want it to drive to. Or you can control every single joint on this robot here. I even did it. So we're going to take it for another test drive. Hopefully I won't do anything bad, but we're going to have some fun. All right, so this is the interface, and what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking through the eyes of PackBot, and you can see it's a little gripper there. And if I wanted to drive, that's medium. Let's go slow. I'm basically steering. It gives you a predictive path. Now I can also do the auto drive where if I point, where that blue dot is is where it's gonna drive. Now I just pointed, so it's founding a new path. At any point I can hit stop. Let's get it to turn around though. So we're turning, I'll go a little bit faster. Whoa. That was really fast. Try moving. All right, so I'm controlling it. But if I also wanted to do a number of presets, I don't even have to figure out like, oh, well, how do I move that joint and that joint and that joint? I want to set it for drive. I want to set it for drive up. I want to set it to pick up something. So now it's going to pick up the front feet. Now, the way this works is all of your iRobot assets are controlled through one app. So I'm gonna switch it up. Two assets, take control of the first look robot, and once again, I'm controlling it. You have to understand what it used to be with these robots is hardware control. You had to be trained on how to do this. The software is free, all cloud-based. There's a radio control system. All of these robots can even work together in a mesh network. Doesn't come on iOS. There is an observer mode software that'll let you watch what's happening in real time through these robots. They have audio, video, a number of sensors. I'm gonna turn this guy around. Now, our goal is to get the iRobot bottle. You'll also notice that it goes as fast as I'm pushing. I'm really controlling that. All right, so let's switch to pickup. Pick up. Now let's see if we can hit manipulate. I'm gonna do joint control. What I need to do is go forward. Let's give it a shot. So this is high tech stuff and it's also expensive stuff. This is not for everybody. It's 100,000 to 150,000 depending on configuration. But if you wanna know about the future of robotics and the future of robotics that are in tough situations like the Boston Marathon bombing, like mine collapses, like any kind of dangerous situation, these are the kind of robots and the kind of technology you're going to be talking about. All right, hold on to this, Get it open. Ta-da! I'm ready to take this guy out on the field. 